Hey, friends. So, something that showed up for me today is a, I was reading about, I forget what paper, it might have been the New York Times, they're talking about the war in Ukraine and the potential forever war. It's a word I really, I expect to see that on the title, underneath the title of a Marvel movie rather than in the newspaper, certainly how I prefer to see it. But, and I didn't even read the article. I, I you know, I try not to, I try not to um, indulge that my type of information too much because while I understand that it's important to be aware of what's happening in the world, I also think, especially nowadays with the way that information is distributed and the um, motive, the sort of motive behind the way, the ways that information is construed, we really don't do ourselves any favors by seeking out or by indulging in those dark fantasies. Because let's remember that's what they are. Even if it's news, anything that is projecting into the future is still a fantasy. It might be a very reliable, uh, it might be based on very reliable evidence. It might be a fantasy with a high probability of, of act becoming actualized, becoming reality, but it's still not yet reality. It's still not reality. And so where I keep my awareness, where I put my, the locus of my own consciousness throughout my days, weeks, you know, feels like one of the most important choices I can make. So I don't generally read the news or, or, or look through the news and then click on the clickbait to find out how horrible things are going to be. But what the, just simply the headline evoked in me was this very urgent sense of, man, I've got to make darn sure that I get my own ego out of the way in my life. Like the world doesn't have room for for any for another ego. For the room, the world doesn't have room for that kind of for 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 human beings who who are who are focused on themselves in that way. And it's you know I take it I I, I say it with no no judgment. I, I try to say it with no self judgment, but um. But at the same time, it's like this is a pretty this is a pretty urgent situation. Like, if we want to save the world, if we want to continue to create a place where our children can grow up and live and thrive and expand. There's some pretty heavy lifting to be done. And I think, you know, maybe what we're facing, and I don't know this for sure, but, you know, if you look back across the last five, six generations, there's some, there's some generations where it looks an awful lot like they lifted an outsized proportion of their weight. Right? You know, you think World War II, 
you think the depression of World War One, even up into the latter half of the 20th century. And I think, you know, one of the things I see kind of as a, as part of the zeitgeist now is an awareness of what generational expectations are. So when you grow up in a certain generation, you expect the world to be a certain way or to, or you expect your life to go a certain way. And it either does or it doesn't. And the, and our recent generations, Gen X, Millennial, Gen Z, have had a little bit of kind of like buyer's remorse. <laughs> like, oh, this didn't quite do what I thought it was going to do, this period of life that I purchased with my birth. And I think um, I think there's, I, I, first of all, you know, story's not over yet. But second of all, I think we may be coming into a period where we are looking at a similar level of, of, a, of lifting, a similar level of work required. Because who wants to live in a forever war? That doesn't sound nice to me. And And I think, you know, there there are reflections. What I'm amazed by is that there are when I see when I when I read about or hear about the way that someone like Vladimir Putin is conducting himself and, and what the motivations seem to be or he seems to be wanting to head. It's, un, it's unfathomable to me that there's a belief there that that's what's best for anybody. His own people or anybody else. There's no part, I can't fathom that that's what he truly thinks that this is for the best all I see is an ego who doesn't want to be wrong who doesn't want to be inferior who doesn't want to concede and I can see that in myself I don't have to look to a global statesman or a dictator to see those foibles and and there's just no room for them there's just no room on the earth for that. Not if we want it to be a place where we can truly, truly create an exp the expansion of consciousness, the ex the, which is the uh, destiny, the ultimate purpose of human life. Check out my post from yesterday, I think, when I talked about that. But... So there's just something kind of chastening about hearing about these global events and then seeing the, the personal implications and the scale of impact that those, that simple personal foibles can have. I mean, God knows we've seen that in our own country too. So,
And there's a power that, that I feel immediately as soon as I just take the mental step of stepping into the conviction of letting go of that and, and rendering myself to a, to a higher purpose, immediately I become empowered. It's like, it's like I had rocket fuel in me all the time, all the while, and I, can, and I, I suddenly uncorked it. So, and I think this has, there's some, there's some very specific concrete ways that this is showing up in my life right now. But I think most fundamentally it's, it's simply about letting letting go of that small-minded part of myself, letting it go, seeing it, observing it, watching it in action, catching it, and let and not following it, not allowing it to, to run me. Vladimir Putin and I share a birthday, so maybe that's why I'm, I don't know, on the lookout for... <laughs> <laughs> personal traits that are in need of modification. Anyway, I feel like I'm just un, un, I'm opening a kind of a Pandora's box here, but I, but it, but it's with the intention of really kind of getting real with myself about well. Where are you really coming from? What motivates me? What moves me? What is my directive? Because I really do want to make the world a better place. I really do want to live in a world where consciousness can expand, where we can give ourselves to the purpose of life. But that's only, but I can only genuinely work towards that if I'm truly available, if I'm truly available for it, if I'm truly cleared the clutter. So, yeah. Where I am today, people. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.